What do you believe makes a book rare? Is it its old age or maybe its pristine condition? Perhaps your mind wanders to leather-bound tomes protected behind glass or maybe to books with pages yellowed by time. Common as these assumptions may be, the intrigue of book rarity extends far beyond these surfaces. Book rarity is an art. It's a science. It's a dance with history and a flirtation with the whims of the market. It's not merely about how old a book is or how well it has been preserved. It's about the layers of story that a book carries, the historical significance, the limited editions, the autographs, the provenance, the unique features, and yes, even the demand in the marketplace. As we delve deeper into this topic, prepare to uncover the surprising factors that truly define a rare book. Imagine a book that has witnessed key historical events or perhaps has been owned by a significant personality. This is where the concept of historical significance comes into play. It's not just about the age of the book, but the stories it carries, the eras it has traversed, and the hands it has passed through. Let's say you stumble upon a book that once belonged to Winston Churchill, or was present in the court of Queen Victoria. The aura of such a book, touched by history and time, is unparalleled. It's not just a book anymore. It becomes a tangible piece of the past. Similarly, a book that has chronicled significant historical events like the fall of the Berlin Wall or the moon landing carries a weight of importance. It's as though the pages are imbued with the echoes of those monumental moments, adding a layer of rarity that transcends its physical form. So, a book's journey through time and its historical connections can truly elevate its rarity. What if a book is one of the few copies in existence or carries the signature of its author? These factors, limited editions and autographs, can significantly elevate a book's rarity. Limited editions are a fascinating aspect of book collecting. They're often produced in small quantities, making them highly sought after. The fewer copies there are, the more unique and desirable the book becomes. These editions, often beautifully crafted, can feature exclusive artwork or additional content that's not available in standard editions. They're like hidden treasures waiting to be discovered. Then we have autographs. An author's signature can add a personal touch to any book, but when it comes to rare books, it's like the cherry on top. The signature connects the reader to the author in a tangible way, making the book a piece of literary history. It's not just about having a signed book, it's about owning a part of the author's legacy. So while all books can transport us to different worlds, limited editions and autographed copies offer something more. They invite us into an exclusive club, providing us with a unique piece of the literary world that few others possess. Indeed, limited editions and autographs can transform an ordinary book into a rare gem. Could the origin of a book or its unique features contribute to its rarity? Let's dive into that. Provenance, the fancy term for a book's origin or history of ownership, plays a critical role in determining a book's rarity. Imagine owning a book from the personal library of a famous author or a historical figure. The mere fact that it was once held, read, and maybe even annotated by them adds a fascinating layer of history and allure. The journey of a book, from its creation to its preservation, can indeed turn it into a treasured piece of history. But what about the unique features a book might have? Yes, they too can add to a book's rarity. Take special bindings, for instance. A book bound in vellum or morocco or adorned with gilded edges and marbled endpapers is not just a book. It's a work of art. Then there are books with illustrations, especially if they're hand-drawn or colored. They capture the essence of an era, making the book a time capsule of sorts. Annotations, too, add a personal touch as they offer a glimpse into the thoughts and interpretations of previous readers. So provenance and unique features aren't just fancy terms. They're keys that unlock the treasure chest of stories that a rare book holds. They add depth and character, turning a simple book into a captivating narrative of its own. A book's provenance and unique features indeed add layers to its rarity, making it a treasure chest of stories. How does the demand in the market influence a book's rarity? you might ask. Well, let's delve into that. In the world of rare books, market demand is a significant player. It's a bit like a grand ball where supply and demand are the two main dancers. Imagine, if you will, a book that's one of a kind, an absolute gem. But here's the twist. No one is interested in it. It's like a wallflower at the grand ball. Would you still consider it rare? Technically, yes. But its value may not be as high because there's no demand for it. On the other hand, 
Let's say we have a book that's not exactly one of a kind, but it's one that everybody wants. It's the bell of the ball, the book that every collector has their eye on. Here the demand is high, but the supply is limited. This situation can increase the book's rarity and consequently its value. It's not just about how many copies exist, but also how many people want those copies. The higher the demand and the lower the supply, the more likely it is for a book to be considered rare. It's this intricate dance between supply and demand that can significantly impact a book's rarity and value. So the next time you're browsing through a collection of old books, think about this. It's not just the age, the autographs, the limited editions, or the unique features that make a book rare. It's also about how many people want to own that book and how hard it is to find. Therefore, the dance between supply and demand in the market can significantly impact a book's rarity. As we've discovered, the rarity of a book is a fascinating blend of various factors. It's not just about the age or condition of the book, but the unique tales it spins and the history it encapsulates. We've learned that historical significance can elevate a book from being merely old to truly rare. Limited editions and autographs add a personal touch, making the book a unique piece of art in its own right. Provenance and unique features add another layer of intrigue, transforming a book into a treasure map of sorts. And finally, market demand reminds us that rarity is also a matter of perception and desirability. Now, knowing these secrets, does it change your perception of what makes a book rare? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to discover more intriguing topics like this one.